Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Shubham Pramanik from motiondex.com and today I'm very very excited because all of you know that India team has won the World Cup finally in this year and that was a very much emotional and proud moment for all of us. So this video is going to be a small tribute to that victory and uh, I hope you are going to learn quite a lot of new things from this tutorial and this is going to be a trendy design and I'm going to create all of that from this scratch. So with that said, now let's begin. Now to begin with just I'll drag and drop our main BG image and on top of that I'm gonna use this texture okay just put it on the BG now press ctrl alt shift and H to set it properly according to our composition width and now just increase the scale of it a little bit just like this and I'm gonna decrease the opacity to around 50% maybe 60 press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position increase the scale as well so i'm gonna just zoom in a little bit perfect and now just change the position like this so i'll press ctrl shift and right arrow key to move forward 10 frames now i'm gonna change the position little bit like this i'm gonna press again ctrl shift right arrow and now i'm gonna change the position let me do it very very quickly and you can do it uh, some random changes over the position okay now let's play back so it will look like this okay fine now what i'll do i'll just select all of these keyframes right click and now change them to toggle hold keyframes okay so now it will animate like this perfect toggle hold keyframes basically hold the value unless the second keyframe arrives and only when the second keyframe arrives it will change its value here you can see now it is 497 and now if i go to over here the value is not changing but whenever i'm going over here at that point only the value is changing so so this is the basic difference between a toggle hold keyframe and a linear keyframe okay i hope you have got it now if you play back it will look like this and this is exactly what we want for the particular look and after that i'm gonna just drag and drop the main image over here and i'm gonna press s and i'll scale it now after that let's type in uh, something like motivation okay and position it in the center as well i'll add an effect on top of that and that is cc reptile and then I'm gonna change the expand down to around uh, 1000 press alt shift and p to set a keyframe on the position and now I'm gonna drag that like this and I'm gonna go around two seconds and then I'm gonna bring it upward like this perfect if you want you can increase the expand down to 2000 as well I think it will look good and position it like this okay now let's preview it so it will animate like this and it is perfectly fine now after doing that i'm gonna select these two keyframes and i'm gonna easy ease by the way i'm using keyframe wingman that is a free plugin you can download it for free and after that what i'll do i'll just position this motivation text behind our main image layer just like this so now it will look like this and if i ramp preview here you can see how it is looking perfect solo this layer by clicking here and now i'm gonna type in another text and i'm gonna get give a star over here now scale it down and position it in the center after that make sure the text layer is selected and then select the paint tool and draw a path like this so i'm gonna start over here you can draw something you want i'm gonna draw a path like this and close the path after that okay so it will look like this and if you want to make the curve smoother just drag this handle and the curve will look much more smoother let me do some tweaking over here as well so that it looks good so once we have drawn the path just go to your text layer and click over here and now go to text then path option 
and then select path from none to mask one now here you can see that it is following our mask path just select the text tool and select the text press ctrl c to copy and paste it over here multiple times just like this go to fast margin and set a keyframe over there and now go few frames backward and just drag this one like this and go to around two seconds and change the fast margin value as well like this so if i ramp preview now here you can see how it is looking so it is animating like this but right now it is very very fast we don't want that we just need to drag this keyframe around five seconds maybe and now let's see how it is looking yes it is looking much much better but uh, here you can see that the lining is uh, going above our uh, main text image i'll press ctrl a i'll select all of them i'll press u to close the layers and now make this one 3d and make the main image in 3d as well now if i go there and press r we need to tweak something on the x rotation and y rotation so let's just adjust that pretty quickly and after that i'm gonna select the main image i'm gonna press r and we'll tweak this one as well so i'll just make it like this now if i ramp preview it let's see how it is looking pretty pretty cool right and after that let's select the main image press ctrl shift p and drag it around one second drag the position like this now select these two keyframes and easy ease those as well now ramp preview it here you can see and after that i'm gonna click over here two times so it will create a new shape layer let's name it as matte uh, press alt shift p and drag it and go to the frame zero and now just drag it like this outside of the frame now select these two keyframes and easy ease those as well so it will reveal like this just select the text layer and track mat set it to alpha mat okay solo this layer here you can see how it is revealing pretty pretty cool right if you want you can just drag this keyframe around one second i think it will look much better over there see pretty pretty cool right now here you can see that after two seconds the texture is not moving in the background so let's fix that as well i'll select the texture layer i'll press u to reveal the keyframes now go to position press alt left click and type in an expression that is loop out and now it will constantly moving over here as well here you can see notice over here yes it is looping and at the end i'm gonna add a sticker and that is uh, this sticker i'm gonna drag and drop that and i'm gonna type in a text on that i'll type in perfect now position it in the center also select the sticker layer and make sure the anchor point is in the center of that sticker so i'll place it over here and by the way if you don't know how to change the anchor point click over here and then drag it also you can press y that is a shortcut fine now after that link that text layer to our sticker layer and you can use that pick whip tool for that now press s to scale it down fine and i'm gonna place it over here and now press r and i'm gonna go frame zero and i'll set a keyframe over there i'm gonna press ctrl shift right arrow key to move for 10 frames now i'm gonna just change the rotation value randomly like this now select all of these keyframes right click and toggle hold keyframe okay now also add that expression loop out so that it continuously rotating and keeps on animating like this here you can see fine looking very very cool and at the end i'm gonna add an position animation so i'll make this one in 3d and this one in 3d as well i'll press alt shift p to set a keyframe on the position and i'll go to frame zero and then i'm gonna make this one z value minus 3000 
so it will animate like this here you can see now select this to keyframe easy ease and drag this to around over here and now let's ramp preview it and let's see how it is looking here you can see how it is looking so far pretty pretty cool right now let's move forward to our next composition that we will build for Rohit Sharma and let's do that very quickly and I'm gonna use the same assets over here so I'm gonna copy BG and texture layer and I'm gonna paste it over here make sure that BG is at the bottom and then you will find another texture we just need to alter this texture one with texture two so what I'll do I'll just select the texture one and now press alt and just drag and drop the texture too so what it will do it will keep all of the settings that we have used in composition one it basically replace your texture one with texture two so it will look like this i'm gonna use this font and just position it like this fine then after that what you need to do you just select this text tool and cc cylinder okay so it will create a cylinder like this now just increase the radius around 200 fine now go to rotation and there you just need to tweak the rotation to something like this perfect and i'm gonna change the y value and z rotation as well select the rotation y and set a keyframe on that go to around five seconds and add some animations like a two or three round drag this keyframe around here and now see how it is looking after that change the color to something you want let me do it now you will notice that it is not looking good because we have to tweak the light as well so change the light direction at first i'm gonna place the light around over here and if you need you can change the light height as well so i'm gonna place it over here now it is looking much much better right perfect and after that i'm gonna duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl d just place this a main image in between these two text layer now just select this text layer make it outside and now select this layer and make this one inside now if i ramp preview here you can see how it is looking now our main uh, image is inside this cylinder right and uh, at the end if you want you can add some glow and just change the glow radius something higher like this increase the glow intensity to 3 now just copy this effect ctrl c and paste it onto other text layer as well so this is it i hope you have enjoyed throughout the video if you like this kind of tutorial please hit the like button and let me know in the comments that from where you are watching this tutorial uh, type in your cities or country name it will be interesting to know so with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next one keep animating keep smiling goodbye